how to make your own LED strips for your kayak. So for this project, you're gonna need everything on the list. And if you don't wanna make these LED strips yourself, you can contact me at justin at wildlineropes.com or go check out wildlineropes.com. And before we get started, I'm just gonna go over the four main types of LED strip. You got the 2835, the 3528, the 5050, and the 5630. This number references the actual size of the LED chip and is, uh, and just because they're bigger doesn't necessarily mean they're putting out more light. As you can see, these are really big, but these also have a twice as much or you know more as many LEDs per inch. So, which these uh, numbers are typically followed by either 300 or 600 or 1200, which means there's say 300 LEDs per five meters or 600 LEDs per five meters or, you know, so on. So if you want, you know, the brightest you can get, then you're gonna want, you know, something like the 1200 LEDs per meter, or I went with the 5630, 600 LEDs per five meters. And uh, a lot of times they'll have a Kelvin rating, which it just kind of indicates the color. Uh, that just depends on what you want. If you want more of a yellow light, more of a white light, a kind of a bluish. And then they've got all the colors. They've even got, you know, color changing if you want to do that. But um, to get started, just go ahead and uh, get your soldering iron ready. And you want to take a knife and just cut that piece. Be careful not to cut it all the way off. The easiest way that I found to do this is to um, take in, we got some 20 gauge wire, multi strand copper wire. All right, we can tin those. Just put a little bit in them. I'm gonna cut a little bit of the extra off. Don't need that much. All right, and then the easiest way that I found to do this is to take the, to get a good, get a good bit of solder on there and just kind of dip it. All right. Make sure you got your wires oriented in the right way it's easier if you have this like taped down or maybe someone helping you or whatever but get a little bit more get them how you like it make sure you hold it and hold it very still for a few a little bit just to make sure it doesn't move while it's still hot they don't have to be the prettiest in the world just you know get it on there might add a All right, now while that's cooling down, we'll put the, you can put your heat shrink on first or you can just slide it on. While that's cooling.
All right, so to make sure you got a good solder on it, when you get it, just give it a little bit of a tug. And if it feels strong, then it's probably good. If it looks black or discolored or, you know, really just not good looking, then do not try and use it because it's just going to break. This is the most critical part about this because um, this is the most likely to break. The only other problem I've ever really had is the factory the factory solder on this on the uh, other strip I was using on my kayak seemed like the water corroded the factory solder where the strips were joined and they literally split in half so they didn't work but let's get the heat shrink on there all right we can cover up that one LED it's not that big of a deal you can bring it back off of it if you want to expose it to some. All right, now we're going to make sure this thing actually works like it should. I got a 12 volt battery over here. It is working and they are pretty bright. Uh, I was a little skeptical at first compared to just, I got so many on this. This puts out a really nice even light. But these are really bright, so I'm excited to see what the what they're going to look like on in the water. I haven't got to use them yet on my kayak. You'll take your hot glue gun now. Hopefully I told you to have that plugged up and ready. Alright, just shoot a little hot glue in there. As you can see, it's that glue is so hot that it just... Pretty much squeeze itself off, finish it off with the lighter. You can use a heat gun if that's what you got to. Obviously, don't touch that glue for a minute and let it cool. I'm going to get this set up on the kayak now. Alright, so to finish out, to actually install it on the kayak. We're gonna make sure it's uh, decently clean. I actually plan on setting these lights up different later on, but I just wanna use these lights for now as their extras so we're gonna let that dry out for just a second um, always make sure and test your LEDs before you uh, you know before you do this because if they're not working I mean they're all working so we're good to go This sticky tape does nothing. And one of these I'm gonna have to cut down just a bit to match. All right. Pretty much just kind of put them however you want them. something like that and then to install them really simple hot glue gun all right get you a lot of glue ready um, just depends you really don't have to do a thick like thick layer you're not trying to make it waterproof you're really just putting the glue on the uh, just to help keep it where it needs to be uh, the hot glue is the best thing that I found it dries fairly clear it's able to flex and move it's super cheap and if you live in the south you can go 
10 minutes and go to the dollar store and get some and it just works so good for this application it's a uh, pretty underrated I think <laughs> um, I usually start away from these ends uh, it's it's uh, really important to be careful with these ends you just don't want them uh, breaking I've never done three like this in a row so I'm not sure how this is gonna work but uh, just keep them they're gonna As soon as you get a good layer on, just pretty much let that cool. Um, and when that cools, it's pretty easy. You're just going to, I mean, throw the glue to it. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pause it here. And So I've got them all glued down. I didn't want to show that on camera because it's just been really boring. I did change it up a little bit toward the end. I didn't put a layer, like this is a layer uh, right up in here. I just kind of just put a bead down the middle of each one and on the edges. To finish up this last part, like I said, you just want to be careful right in here. And pretty much just kind of maybe use the edge of that gun. I'm not going to go too much further than that because I actually plan on putting heat shrink wrap on all three of them. I don't know. I may or may not. Uh, depends on how long I keep these lights on. I uh, would like to actually put the lights on these outer tracks here as that would give it more light out um, to see better. So, But I have these so I'm going to use them. And uh, man, I hope y'all got a lot of use out of this. I'll show y'all my other kayak, my Vibe Seagoes. So here's my Vibe Seagoes. As you can see, I've got them mounted kind of in the corner, shining out. And uh, man, it worked out great, except I ran my wires to the wrong scupper hole. Should have ran them here. It's all good. Uh, that's what's really nice about this glue is you can really just pick it pick it and just rip this whole thing off in one go and very little cleanup and it's super cheap but like i said i hope y'all got some use out of it uh everybody enjoy the water and be safe uh, have a good one